So we're going to play a game called dribble a -rama. In dribble a -rama, there's two levels. Level one, the goal is to keep control of the ball. Do not let it touch anybody's ball or anybody's feet and make sure it stays in the white floor space. You'll notice on the center of the room I have a red line here with arrows. We're going to start on this side. Everyone's going to dribble carefully. If your ball touches somebody else's ball or if it goes out of the blue space, then you're going to have to come to this side. Got it? Ready? Let's start on this side over here. Go. Start dribbling. Keep it under control. Keep moving. Be honest. If your ball touches somebody, you got to go to the other side. Uh-oh, I got to go to the other side. Freeze. Santal, third graders. Now, I, I'm on the other side. There's a few of us on this other side because our ball either touched somebody or it went out of the blue. Pretty soon it starts off easy because there's only a few of us, but before you know it, there's going to be a lot more people over here. On this side, same thing. If my ball touches somebody or if it goes out of the white space, then I got to take it to the opposite side. So you're going to be switching back and forth every time your ball touches. The goal is to not have to switch over by keeping it under control. Ready? Go, keep going. Save it, save it, save it, Kimberly. Save it, there you go. Oh, other side, Lily. Stand tall. Dribble a Rama. This time, when I say go, everyone is going to dribble and stay inside the big red circle without letting your ball touch anyone or go out. Same thing, if your ball touches somebody or touches their ball, both people have to dribble around the outside of the circle one whole lap, then you get to come back into the game. Go. Keep it in the circle. Keep it under control. Oh man, I gotta go around. You get to come back in after you dribble around one whole practice lap. There you go, Rosalind. <laughs> 